birthday beauty maintenance routine. It's birthday week. A regular maintenance routine is like an Olympic heptathlon, but a birthday maintenance routine is a decathlon. There is just more, you know, stuck, tucked and plucked. But... And this is relative to you. If you usually just get your eyebrows threaded, maybe you add about six more tasks on for that. And that is me for my birthday. Why am I wrapped this way? Well, all of them are done. This is a retrospective. I find birthday dinners to be privately revered and publicly jeered. People laugh at birthday dinners. The only place that you can put on a pretty dress and twirl around for me is either a ball, which I haven't been invited to one. But guess what? Your friends text you and do you know what she said? Or a restaurant or a club. I am not going to the club. And like I said, there's no ball. So birthday meal it is. Babe, for my birthday this year, we're going to dinner. The girls love it really. You can't go wrong, we are eating. Just make sure you eat with people you actually fuck with. Okay. The traffic is nasty and my appointment started, oh my gosh, three minutes ago. But do, do I look like I'm on a waxing table? Roadworks, 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 and when they're done, everything looks the fucking same. It's downstairs, thank you. I had a wax and the wax was spectacular, outstanding. I'd even call it a tearjerker. Oh, just to clarify, we were having intimate waxes as well as legs and armpits. And I think to myself every time I go to a new place, wow, I don't even know you. And the th first thing you are is like face to cat. She was quick, she was professional, and it was damn near painless. There's something I call spaghetti junction when you're getting an intimate wax and it's almost guaranteed to be painful. Well, it literally wasn't. And she did my favorite thing people do after a wax. You know when you and, and let me tell you something. Here's where she impressed me. And maybe people think this is too far, but after every part of me that she waxed, do you know what she whipped out, which I usually have to whip out when I'm at home? The tweezers. And as I lay looking up at the ceiling, which sometimes can come in like the afterlife as you look into the blinding lights, I thought, a perfectionist? A do-too-moucher? I love her. It was an all-round 10 out of 10 experience, and so I left her a glowing review on Treat Well. You know why? Because she absolutely deserves it. You'll just have to take my word for it, but I'm waxed to perfection. Cost um, of intimate wax, Hollywood style, full leg and armpit was actually 65, yeah. But the, the price to me, priceless, because I love being smooth. Is that slightly political, I guess? I know there was that whole thing like, you know, it's weird. So why do some people want to be smooth in that way? It's not very adult. Well, I've been indoctrinated by all of the things, the patriarchy and the other things like this. Please take a last intense look at my brows because I'm about to go and get them done, laminated. Let's see if it's the best thing I've ever done or it's irrelevant. I'm back. So the following day of the Beauty Olympics, I actually decided to go back to the same place I got my wax done to get my brows done because the tech, she was so good and I was looking at her eyebrows and I thought, I can trust her. So I lay down, very relaxing, very cool, same room. I feel at home now, I've already been here and had, you know, half a head of hair removed from me. And I let her get to work. It looks like I'm bleaching. Now. <laughs> and my stomach was grumbling a little bit and I was I was a bit ashamed because I woke up with just enough time to get like you know to bathe and be there on time. But then her stomach grumbled too and I just thought, kindred spirits. You and I, we see each other. And she said to me, I'm sorry, my stomach is grumbling. And I said, babe, you can hear mine. Don't apologize. We're the same, okay? Why would you apologize when we're both here having a growling symphony? When she was done, passed to me the mirror. I looked at my brows. Guys, they were so dark. It's thin. Ah, uh, okay. They were so dark. For me, I would say terrifyingly dark. I, um, look, I hope you can see them in contrast to what they were at first and what they were straight after the appointment. Hmm. I sometimes hate harsh things. Or I look at my eyebrows and I felt like they were disharmonious. The job she did was immaculate, as in, in terms of the brows were neat. They were laminated very well. 
they were tinted thoroughly, but I just looked and I felt like they were taking over my face. I felt as if my face real estate had been evaded by squatters. The advice is of course not to wash your face for 24 hours. No, no water. So I washed my face immediately after getting home. Removed as much tint as I possibly could. And I'm happy to report, after three days of doing what they told you not to do, I am now happy with the state of my brows. Maybe they just look exactly the same as they did at the start. Do you think that I wasted money? Just to clarify, this cost me 70 pounds. I'm gonna be so upfront with you. Did I pay 70 pounds for my brows to look exactly the same? Was it worth the money? Should I have just gotten them tidied and not tinted? Maybe, you can let me know what you think, but that was my second procedure, which overall I'd say I'm also happy to have tried. I've been gagging for a massage. All I do is beg and plead to anyone who will listen, like I'd love a massage, I'd love a massage. And I thought, did you know that you have a job? Did you know that in exchange for the hours you give, they reward me with legal tenure and I can spend that legal tenure on anything? Right, they've given me this little outfit. So instead of begging untrained and unwilling bystanders to please touch me, do something, I was like, I can pay someone who's trained. So I got a Thai massage. I am so sorry if the video quality is trash, but I'm in the room. It was good, but it was also just okay at the same time. I think I've been wanting this so much that the vibe, the vibe was fantastic. I am so fucking excited for fuck's sake. The ambiance in the room, the masseuse, masseuse, the masseuse was very sweet, very attentive, really wanting to see if I was okay. But I felt like almost I wanted her to snap me in half or something. I, I don't know, maybe I've gone, maybe I've gone too dark. Maybe I think I want a massage and I really want to join the BDSM crowd. I have no idea. But I just, I was like, do more. Basically, I was left wanting more. That was my final judgment. When she was like, we're all done. And I thought, I don't know, throw me across the room. <laughs> like throw me on the floor. I don't know what kind of massage I was looking for. I thought the Thai one would be intense enough. Perhaps not. Perhaps not, lads. I would say I, I will try another massage. I won't stop until I get the massage that I need. Take from that what you will. That set me back, I believe 60. If I'm lying, I'll put it on the screen. We are racking off a birthday bill, as you can see. So I can show you what I got. This is what I got. This is what I got. Do you love it? I also was having a thought while I was in the uh, nail shop. Often people say, oh, you know, this is the inspo pick for my nails or the inspo pick for my makeup. I sat in the salon chair and I thought, this is not inspiration, I'm just copying this, babe. Are other people saying inspo because they're making slight tweaks? Because when I say on oh, my inspiration pick, it means I'm doing exactly as I've seen. I want to imitate. I need to start saying this is my imitation pick because I will be imitating it as closely as possible. Either way, I can show you the imitation pick from Pinterest. And you know, when I was in the salon, another another woman walked in and she was like, what do you want today? And she's saying, I'm not really sure. And I thought, oh God, it couldn't be me because I sit night after night as soon as one, one manicure is done, please know I'm in my bed that same night looking for my next one. I have an entire folder on Pinterest and it's just about nails. I will never walk into the nail shop unawares. I always know what's going on with the nails. The toes sometimes, okay, I do make a split second decision, but the nails? No, you must be well informed and educated. You must have your nail picks filed alphabetically, color order, by seasons, something. But going into the nail shop and being like, I don't know. I just, nails are one of my few pleasures in life and I get my dopamine hit, like I'm not enjoying my life. I look down, I think, well, that's not so bad, is it? Slap some pink on the toes. Don't really like showing my feet just cause. 77 for the nails, which was take off, put back on fresh set and this design that you see. And then, the t and then I got my toes done. So total, it was 115. Then I got a discount and then I paid like 96. The next one was a spa day. Guys, please keep in mind, this has all happened within a week. As in Monday through, we're currently on Saturday, I've been running myself ragged getting these treatments done. It sounds bizarre, but I think anyone who does regular beauty maintenance can tell you that 
it can be exhausting. The person holding the gun to my head, however, is me, but it is still exhausting. A private spa where you book out has a jacuzzi, a pool, a sauna, a steam room, showers, and a cool, like a cold drop, not a cold plunge, but a cold drop that comes from a bucket. Very rustic. I imagine someone in Sweden probably has that in their house. It was a lovely time. It was gorgeous. You can play your own music. Unfortunately, the the Bluetooth, like this, the radio, hmm. We couldn't connect our phones. We had to listen to the radio, but they were playing club bangers. I feel like the British get by on low salaries and the weather because we listen to a lot of house and dance music. So it's like, you're almost about to off yourself, but then someone puts on, as Charlie XCX would say, a club classic. And you think, well, I suppose life's not that bad. You get on with it. <laughs> the spa was wonderful. I would really recommend. We had a ton of fun. My sisters did what they love to do, which is take a ton of pictures of each other. And I approve that message. I did what I like to do, which is act a fucking fool. And I approve that message also. Just a lovely concept. Cause sometimes maybe when you're in a shared spa, you can't let as loose. But I was there with my sisters. So I was as loose as you can be, as loose as a goose. <sighs> loose as a goose. <laughs> Enjoyed the spa, enjoyed the spa. That was treatment, what, five? I can't even remember what treatment number we're on, but it's been a busy week. My hair, the piece de resistance, the, the crown jewel of birthday celebrations, the dinner. I had my hair done, so obviously if I went to the spa and I'm a straight natural, my hair would need doing again, which it has been done but by someone else, not me. So I got my hair pressed um i would say trim but i actually just lobbed a ton of my hair off my stylist was telling me he was like you know your ends are fluffy that's probably why they puff out when you go out into humidity so badly and he said we can trim you know this is how much and he showed me the amount that would have to be um cut off for all of it to be gone and i was like okay just give it a trim and then i was sitting there and i said no fuck that in its entirety put that one to bed i said get everything off you know what, get everything off so I can't be asked. I I literally said I can't be asked. I have shaved my head countless times and I don't, I'm not desperate to have long hair. I also think I kind of look better with short hair. It's just short hair is more of a chore and more intense and is like having a baby. You just have to be locked in with that. I think we know we're doing a good job when you get like little scalp burns, just tiny ones, like just a little kiss. Kiss of the scalp to know, to keep you awake, keep you alert, keep you on your toes. So I believe it was a hundred and fucking insert number here. I'm so sorry. I actually am good at maths, but I meant to have some sort of math prowess and I can't calculate what it was. But yeah, that set me back 95 pounds. I was happy to pay it because it means I didn't have to do my hair for the dinner. Someone else did it and I love a bird and removed. Mwah. See you at the dinner table. Make sure you wear something nice. Do your hair, do your makeup. See ya at dinner. And yet, there she goes. One could say dinner didn't exactly go to plan. We booked a table for nine and found out when we got to the restaurant that last orders were at 9.15. Well, first they said 9.30. By the time we were seated, they said 9.15. I felt like I had a gun to my lower spine. I did not feel relaxed. I did not take many pictures. There was a sort of knock on, knock on effect. And then I was like, I don't even like the way I look. I don't like anything. But at least I was there with my sisters. Ah. This is how I looked. I don't actually know what to say about this. So I'm just going to say bye. Toodles.